C4 charges are elegant weapons of war that can bring just about any structure to its knees. But you gotta use it properly, so let's go over a guide. First things first, you gotta craft a detonator. Now these are reusable and they're simply the thing you use to set the C4 off. They're not something you attach to the C4. To craft one of them, it's gonna cost you 20 polymer, 50 electronics, 10 crystals, 10 metal, and 15 paste. And now you gotta make the actual charges. And we'll get into the damages in just a second here, but first, to make one, it's gonna cost you 60 gunpowder, 10 crystal, five paste, 50 fiber, five hide, five polymer, and five electronics. Overall, one of the hardest things to get for the C4 in total is electronics, especially if you're a new player without an angler. Because the main purpose of C4 is to destroy structures rather than kill people and creatures, Let's get into how much damage it does to each tier of structures. Now I'm not sure why you would use C4 on that, but it'll obliterate it. Surprise, surprise. Wood. Well, wood also doesn't stand too great of a chance. What is worth noting, though, is that wood is actually slightly explosive resistant. And you can see if I try to blow up just a foundation. That actually won't do anything. Now keep that in mind for a second here as we move on to stone. Stone also, I mean C4 just cuts through it like hot butter. In fact, even a foundation cannot withstand the blast of C4. Right here you might see we've got a behemoth gate. Full health. This is the health of two walls. One C4, and it's gone. There is not a single stone structure in the game that can withstand a single blast of C4. Metal is where C4 starts to falter. One explosive simply won't do the trick. It'll get you roughly a third of the way, so you gotta slap on two more C4. And that'll just about get it done. In tech, as you can see, that's a little shy of 800 damage. That you now tech double doors will take right around 11 C4 to blow. This could be a very, very long amount of time to be getting shot by turrets, though. But on its own. Tech will not be able to just be a strong enough turret. You have to come. You have to combine it with some turrets. Metal double doors will actually take three C4, which is the exact same as a wall. But a regular door, well, that'll only take two. So make sure you guys are using double doors, because that one C4 might actually be. A pretty big difference. I'm sure some of you still want to use it for the purposes of killing people, and that's fine. Here's how much damage it does. In terms of its effectiveness against players, this is a 490 health character, which is roughly, I mean, you're not really going to run across anybody that has higher health than this. However, I do have some primitive flak on, which you'll probably run across players with better than this. And 1c4. I can just about tank that. There's nothing stopping you from stacking C4 though. You can place as many as you like, but now I'll just do two, and I'll show you that I probably won't survive this. As you can see, the C4 damage does stack, so if you want to put 30 of them together and have a giga walk over it, that's certainly something you can do. Lots of games, TV shows, and movies might lead you to believe C4 is a very volatile and easy to set off material when it's the exact opposite. You don't want all the fucking stupid army boys accidentally hitting a piece of C4 and it blowing up. In real life you can burn C4 and you can even shoot it. And actually this is reflected quite well in arc. Maybe a little too well. So right here we have a C4 charge and I can just lay into it. Gunfire won't set it off, maybe melee will. No, 
melee won't do the trick either. How about a metal pick? You can see, this is a functioning metal pick because the foundation is actually taking damage. But nothing is happening to the C4 charge. That's because the C4 charge has the same damage resistance as metal structures, meaning only things that can damage metal structures can damage the C4 charge. Off the top of my head, Gigas and Octopluras can bite it, as well as other explosives can also set it off. You might occasionally come across information that tells you that turrets will actually shoot C4. So that as soon as you place it, if you're in turret fire, the C4 will get blown up. Well, right here, I'll disprove. So I'm in admin mode, I won't die, and I've set up a turret up there that will shoot me as soon as I get close. See, I'm going to place C4 here. And the turret is doing nothing about it. In fact, you can use the C4 as cover, and the turret apparently won't even shoot at you. And this is mainly to do with the C4 actually being structures, and the turret is not made to shoot structures. It will. This is one of the big advantages of C4, however, because you'll notice. So it won't shoot the C4, and that's great. Now let me just back up and show you why that is such a great attribute to have. Alright, I'm coming up. I'm gonna bl go blow up that turret, but I, I can't get close enough, so I gotta shoot with the rocket. Just shoot the rocket. Which would be a problem. And that is more or less all you need to know about C4. So go forth and bring destruction across the arcs. But make sure you subscribe first. I'll see you guys later.